a lot of work to do. Not just in the house for the people of this country, but we see how dangerous of a war. Uh, I just share with my colleagues, and I'm withdrawing my name as a candidate for the speaker designee. How's it looking? It's looking really good. We're going to keep running through the tape. <laughs> this country is counting on us to come back together. This House of Representatives needs a speaker, and we need to open up the House again. But clearly, not everybody is there. First, let me, um, I know we've been following this, it's been quite a journey, uh, and there's still a long way to go. Uh, I just share with my colleagues that I'm withdrawing my name as a candidate for the speaker designee. Uh, if you look at over the last few weeks, if you look at where our conference is, there's still work to be done. Uh, our conference still has to come together and is not there. Uh, there are still some people that have their own agendas. And I was very clear, we have to have everybody put their agendas on the side and focus on what this country needs. This country is counting on us to come back together. This House of Representatives needs a speaker and we need to open up the House again. But clearly, not everybody is there. And there's still schisms that have to get resolved. I never came here for a title. I've had some great titles. I'm the majority leader of the House, and I love the job I have. I've had big challenges in my life. I've been tested in ways that really put perspective on life, really the 2017 shooting, when I didn't know if I was going to make it out alive, taught me what's important in life, and that's my family, my faith, and I'm blessed beyond belief. I have absolutely uh, all the right perspective, and I still have a deep, deep passion for making sure we get our country back on track and get our conference fixed again. Uh, but there are some folks that really need to look in the mirror over the next couple of days and decide, are we going to get it back on track? Are they going to try to pursue their own agenda? You can't do both. And I think we're going to get there. And I was very clear in that room uh, that ultimately we we have to come together for the country. Uh, but I never came here for a title, and it's much bigger than me, and it's much bigger than anybody else, and nobody's going to use me as an excuse to hold back our ability to get the House opened again. We still need to get a speaker, and I'm going to continue to push as hard as we can to make that happen as quickly as it has to happen, but it wasn't going to happen. It wasn't going to happen today, it wasn't going to happen tomorrow. It needs to happen soon. But I withdraw my name, and I appreciate the interest y'all have had along the way. We still have work to do. We have to get this done. Are you doing this work now, Jim Jordan? Do you have time on stage I never cut no deals with anybody. I'm sure there will be a lot of people that look at it. But it's got to be people that aren't doing it for themselves and their own personal interests. And, and the folks that, uh, that have their own personal interests in mind, should be interested in it. Are you endorsing the Democrats? Are you endorsing the Democrats? He worked today, felt as though he wasn't going to be able to get there. He's going to still be our majority leader. I've been in that exact same position that he was back in 2015. Is it validating so at all to see other people have challenges? No, we don't want this. You know what's validating to me is how do you allow 4% of the conference and do this to the entire country. Why would all the Democrats join with eight members? What we have going around the world. You know, I, I'll stay to this day. What I did was 100% right, keeping government open. Can you imagine for one moment the wars that are going around the world and if government was shut down? That if our troops were not being paid right now, we want them in the aircraft carrier strike team to be out there questioning whether they're going to be able to pay their rent? I just think the conference as a whole has to figure out their problems, solve it, 
and select delete. Mm -hmm. I'll say there's some members that still are going to vote for you. Are, are you closing the door of these people? Listen, we got to come together. I mean, at some point, all of these excuses uh, are not cutting it with the American people. We're $33 trillion in debt. We got a southern border in crisis. Israel is at war. Like, can we please get our act together? I think the good news is that kind of frustration is rising from one end of the conference to the other. I think that's going to help us get done what we need to get done. The House will come to order. The prayer will be offered today by Chaplain Kibben. Let's go to the floor and, and take votes for a speaker. Um, the only way to resolve the situation is to start voting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. How do you think this ends, ma'am? Listen, it will end with the speaker, but we need to speed up the process. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the chair declares the House in recess subject to the call of the chair. We have, to, we have to find someone to leave the country. We have no speaker. We have a war that broke out in the Middle East. We have our appropriations bills, uh, bills due soon. And we have a country that is in chaos with the weaponized Biden administration. So are you still it. standing by Scalise? So, I, I'm going back to my office to see the statement that President Trump put out. So when I come back after I feed, I'll let you guys know. Thank you. And resolve this and then get the House open again. We have a lot of work to do. Not just in the house for the people of this country. We need to work through the weekend. We took all of August off. It's time to work through the weekend. There are a lot of things going on a lot worse than this. We need to stay, stay in. Congressman, how are you? Who will you be voting for for Tim speaker Jordan. and why? Because the leader should reach out to every single member of this conference. Ten months I've been here and Leader Scalise has never given me a phone call or returned any of my text messages. That's not a leader. So you, that's why you're not voting for him? 100%. And with everything going on with your investigation right now, how are you feeling? I feel confident that I get to fight it and I have my day in court and be processed and like every American. And you're saying none of this has happened? Uh, absolutely not. Thank you. Republican civil war, get their act together so we can take care of the business of the American people, stand strongly for our allies throughout the world, including Israel and the Ukrainian people. Israel was attacked in the most horrific way possible, and Israel has a right to defend itself and defeat Hamas and stabilize the region permanently. But Israel needs its closest friend and ally in the world, the United States of America, to stand with Israel in this urgent time of need. The inability of House Republicans to get their act together, even when they themselves, by their own rules, have elected a speaker nominee, speaks to the broader chaos and dysfunction and extremism that has characterized the do-nothing Republican Congress from the very beginning. House Democrats have also made clear that we are ready, willing, and able to find bipartisan common ground with our House Republican colleagues on any issue and to find a bipartisan path forward out of the chaos and dysfunction that they themselves continue to visit upon the American people. And we look forward to those conversations, but we need Republican partners 
in order to advance the House Republicans, Republicans need to end the GOP civil war. Now, what is the problem? They've had an election. They designated someone to be brought to the floor. It's the majority party's responsibility to elect a speaker with 218 votes and then to be able to sustain it. Why is that so complicated? Particularly during such a difficult time for the American people and for Israel and for the Ukrainian people and for the free world. That is why House Democrats have continued to make clear that we are ready, willing, and able to find a bipartisan path forward. But we need traditional Republicans to break from the extremists and partner with us for the good of the American Does people. that mean partnering to find a speaker that Democrats and Republicans could support? It means partnering to reopen the House so that we can get the business of the American people done and changing the rules that were enacted in January that empower their most extreme members. Have Thank you everyone. asked any Republicans to vote for you?